Hey guys, this is Luke from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be talking about how the Yuzhan Vong are present during the Old Republic era, as well as go over their history and reason for coming to the known galaxy. They are some of the most bizarre things ever seen in Star Wars, and we find them to be fascinating. As always, we're mixing the expanded universe and canon, because we believe that there is no reason why most of it can't fit together, but only before Return of the Jedi. Anyway, let us begin. The Yuzhan Vong are an extragalactic race who hail from Yuzhan Ta, their homeworld, which was located somewhere in their own galaxy, which was outside the one we know in Star Wars. At some point in their history, they were caught in the middle of a devastating galactic war between two droid civilizations, the Silentium and the Abomino. Thanks to their living world, the Vong were able to bioengineer creations which would help them win the war, such as weapons and ships. From that point, they started to despise everything that was mechanical and considered it as an abomination, so they set out to rid the galaxy of technology. Before these events, they were a peaceful Force-sensitive species, but after the war they experienced massive changes such as being cut off from the Force due to how much suffering they brought upon their galaxy and themselves. They couldn't be sensed through the Force at all, and all Force-based attacks against them did little to no damage at all, making them a dangerous adversary to both the Jedi and Sith, especially since they welcomed pain and even death. With much of their galaxy in their hands, they eventually turned on each other, which would destroy their homeworld as well as most of their galaxy. They would then unite in search for a new home in the known galaxy. All of this probably happened either thousands of years before the Old Republic era, or maybe during the times of the Old Republic. It is simply unknown. So they set out for the known galaxy, which is what the Star Wars galaxy is called, and traveled for several millennia through the intergalactic void, which is the distance between the known galaxy and other galaxies. It specifically appears that by 3997 BBY, sometime after Exa Kun became the Dark Lord of the Sith, the Vong's probe creatures had arrived, and as of 3963 BBY, at least one scout ship had reached the wild space region of the known galaxy. Anyway, these are the first known appearances of the Vong in the known galaxy, and one of the first to encounter them is the Mandalorian Candorus Ordo, who tells his story to Revan aboard the Ebon Hawk. So take it away, Candorus. You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. Your stagnant Republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other, just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it, something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. Maybe, but maybe not. It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire, thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. 
When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. That's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Basically what Candorus and his Mandalorian Neo Crusaders encountered was a Yorick Strona bioship which was meant to sneak into unknown, or in other words, enemy territory, and scout ahead for the main Vong invasion force. Yorick Stronas greatly resembled asteroids and were the perfect spy ship. This story by Candorus is from the first Knights of the Old Republic game and it's one of our favorite easter eggs since we always thought that the Yuzhan Vong would perfectly fit into the Old Republic era in some shape or form such as this. After this first encounter, the Vong would have many more small encounters such as this for thousands of years and even during the Clone Wars and Galactic Civil War eras. Now for those who don't know, the Yuzhan Vong were planned for season 7 or 8 of the Clone Wars, but that was until the Precious was sadly cancelled. The episode or episodes would have been of a Vong scout ship trying to assess the strength of the Republic or something like that. Now as far as we're concerned story-wise, it happened. We really like the idea of the Yuzhan Vong because it's something unlike anything else seen in Star Wars and we personally in our headcanon consider everything about them as canon for ourselves, except for the stuff based after the well-known happy ending of the Star Wars story, which is Return of the Jedi. Cause for us, it feels right that way. This doesn't mean that we don't like the expanded universe stories of them after Return of the Jedi, but we feel that it makes episodes 1-6, to everything in between them and before them, irrelevant in a way. Especially since Emperor Palpatine knew about them, thanks to Grand Admiral Thrawn of course, and was making the Empire as strong as possible to prepare for the upcoming threat, which were the Vong. That kinda makes the war against the Rebel Alliance insignificant and small compared to this, as well as the prophecy of the Chosen One and the fight between good and evil. Also, it would then turn out that the Death Star was a preparation for the Yuzhan Vong War. So for us, we simply like their small appearances in the known galaxy before Return of the Jedi and prefer to believe that they settled on some unknown world and eventually rebuilt their civilization to what it used to be, as well as regained their connection to the Force. We simply like huge complex stories such as Star Wars to end happily, which we believe is the whole point of the struggle from the beginning. Anyway guys, this is it on the video, and we hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you want to watch more videos like this one, the link to the playlist of our other Star Wars stories and videos will be in the description down below. Also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one, and remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video. You rebel scum. This party's over.